beer is on the air. Blatt's beer is everywhere. Blatt's, Milwaukee's finest beer, brings you transcribed Duffy's Tavern, starring Archie himself, Ed Gardner. <laughs> Friends, good taste isn't a matter of geography. A good, juicy steak is appreciated just as much in Los Angeles as it is in New York or Milwaukee. And the same goes for good beer. Take Blatt's, for example. There's nothing unusual about the good taste of the people who have made Blatt's the largest selling beer in Milwaukee, premium beer capital of the nation. They're the same kind of particular people who have made Blatt's the largest selling Milwaukee beer in scores of other cities in 48 states and 29 foreign countries. Yes, from B to Z, from best to zest, the byword Blatt's, B-L-A-T-Z, from coast to coast, Milwaukee's finest beer. Well, Duffy Tavern, where do you eat meat to eat and drink flat beer? Right to your man, just making Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Huh? Well, I'm fixing up the joint for Father's Day. Yep, the one day in the year when Pop gets a slap on the back instead of a kick in the pants. <laughs> huh? What am I going to do on Father's Day? Thanks to you, nothing. How come? Well, it's simple logic, Mr. Duffy. On the lousy 15 bucks a week you pay me, I can't afford to have a steady girl. I go. This steady girl I can't afford to have certainly ain't going to become a wife I can't afford to keep. <laughs> so if this steady girl I can't afford to have won't become a wife I can't afford to keep, she certainly ain't going to have no kids I can't afford to support. <laughs> Therefore, I bid you good day, home record. <laughs> That's oh, Mr. Archie uh, Don't disturb me now, Eddie <clears throat> But this is important The roof is leaking again How do you know? A customer just finished the same bowl of soup three times <laughs> Well So what, is the guy complaining? Naturally He didn't mind the first time when it was tomato soup Or the second time when it was consummate but now there ain't nothing in that bowl but water. <laughs> I'll be squawks again. Tell him it's a finger bowl. <laughs> and please, stop bothering me with mere Christmas. I got more important things on my mind. Such as? Father's Day. Oh, how come you getting so sentimental about Father's Day? You ain't no father. So what? I get sentimental about Christmas and I ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Now, Eddie, Father's Day is a great institution. I ask you, what would this world be if there's never been no fathers? Think of it. Millions of fatherless kids. All running around calling both of their parents' mama. Mmm, that would be serious. Yep, every Father's Day, you know, I get to thinking how alone I am in the world. All me friends look at me at my age. Still without child. <laughs> What'll I be doing Father's Day? What'll I be doing? Brooding about the fact that I ain't been breeding no brood to brood about. <laughs> yeah, Eddie, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I've been taking inventory of myself. Uh, how much you show? <laughs> I'm sure it's just one small child. <clears throat> so, I've decided to get married. That's nice. Anybody, uh, you know? <laughs> well, uh, not personally. It's, I just heard her sing, Eddie, and she's terrific. Uh, Chiquita Juarez, her name is. I listened to her on the jukebox, you see, and I bet you I put 50 pesetas in that jukebox. Pesetas? Slugs. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're cheating on already. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, hello, Miss Duffy. Look, I want to... Hello. Hello. <laughs> I want to get your opinion. Oh, what do you think about this tie? Tie? Oh, for Father's Day, huh? Yeah. Do you think it's good enough for him? Let's see. 
Yeah, I think it'll serve him right. <laughs> what do you think I should get him to wear with it? A long beard. Mr. Stuffy, do you always have to buy ties? Well, I don't know what else to buy. Top is so hard to please. He's hard to please, huh? Well, uh, what about some cards or maybe some poker chips? Mama won't let Papa gamble. Oh. Then how about a box of cigars? Mama won't let Papa smoke in the house. Oh, uh, then how about a nice umbrella? Mama won't let Papa out of the house. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Your father is a pretty hard guy to please. <laughs> but believe me, when I marry Chiquita, I ain't going to be ordered around like that. Who's Chiquita? The dame I'm going to marry. When did you meet her? I ain't met her yet. Well, how can you marry a girl you haven't met? Do you know of a better way to get acquainted? <laughs> no, Summer Stuffy, I, I figure it's time for me to stop flitting around from flame to flame. And to settle down and raise a few kids. Ha! <laughs> that stuck me that way, too. <laughs> okay, laugh at me. But you'll both be jealous someday when you see me with me baby. Bathing him. And feeding him. Slapping him over me shoulder to burp him. <laughs> That's fine. But what if the baby needs a change? Let him go to the mountains like anybody else. <laughs> Yes, sir, that'll be the day, you know. When that little cherub turns his face up to mine and a cute little voice says, Oh, hello, Finnegan. Uh, we was talking about babies. Oh, want me to leave the room? <laughs> no. It's all right, Finnegan. You don't have to leave. But it was just in connection with Father's Day. Father's Day? Oh, boy, I can't wait for it, Arch. I'm expecting a lovely present. From who? Me dog, Rover. <laughs> What's the present? A bone. How do you know? I seen him burying it for me yesterday. <laughs> but how do you know it's for you? Oh, just leave it here, Marge. He knows what I like. <laughs> Look, forget Rover. What are you going to give your old man for Father's Day? Do a problem. So is your old man. <laughs> but uh, what's your problem? What to give your father? No, what to give me mother? <laughs> but it's Father's Day. You ain't supposed to give your mother a present. I know, Arch, but she's been just like a father to me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna give the old man? Uh, look, Arch, I'd like to give him something practical, but everything practical he's already got. He has, huh? Yeah. Paper dolls, <laughs> water wings, <laughs> a yo-yo set, <laughs> a book of instructions on how to go... <laughs> really? Really, you know, I don't know what to get him. I don't know what to get him, huh? Uh, well, how old is he? In his 60s. Uh, what do you think a guy about 60 would go for, right? Blonde about 20? <laughs> no. I think it should be something more practical. There ain't no such thing. <laughs> uh, what did you give him last year? Oh, last year, a, a bundle of hay. <laughs> a bundle of hay? Yeah, last year he thought he was a horse. <laughs> thought he was a horse, huh? Uh, what does he think he is this year? Well, I can't get him to commit himself. Every time I ask him, all he says is, oink, oink. <laughs> if you want to give him something practical, uh, why don't you give him something all fathers and enjoy? What's that? Milwaukee's finest. Some good old black beer. Yeah. Maybe me old man would like a few bottles of blood. Well, certainly. You know, when your old man sits down to the supper table every night, what's the first thing he says? Go easy on the butter. It's 90 cents a pound. <laughs> what I mean is, uh, like, well, 
When your father comes home from work, you see, and he walks out into the kitchen, what? what's the first thing he reaches for? The maid? <laughs> I'm talking about flat beer. But, Arch, the icebox is full of blots already. Well, in that case, get him another icebox. Now, oh. stop bothering me. I got my own Father's Day problems. My future spouse is going to be here any minute now, and I got to get me Taylor on the telephone. Uh, Are you getting a new suit, Miss Archie? Yep, and from one of the finest tailors in town, Eddie. Uh, the Fifth Avenue shop. Here, look at his card. Mm, now, let me see. Sam the Taylor, 3rd Avenue, 5th Avenue shop. <laughs> Our motto, if it's seen in Linda's and it ain't on a plate, Sam made it. <laughs> P.S. 50 cents holds any garment in the store. Sound like a first class tailor. You? Yes, the first on 3rd Avenue. Guaranteed factory misfits for only 11 bucks. <laughs> of course, I get a special reduction on economy bills, you know. Your bills? Yeah, Sam says I'm a perfect misfit. <laughs> uh, I think I'll call him on the phone and see if it's ready. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 5th Avenue Taylors? Junior executive shop, please. <laughs> Oh, Sam, this is Archie. Archie, the padded shoulders with the belt in back. <laughs> That's right. Uh, how's the alterations coming, Sam? But look, the, the pants are too tight. Huh? I should go on a diet? <laughs> Very high class, please. Why? Uh, uh, Sam, look, couldn't you let the pants out just a bit? You loosen the stitches, huh? <laughs> well, all right, I'll come over and pick it up. Okay, Sam. Well, Eddie, get a load of me. How do you like the new suit? Well, pull down the sheets and call me sunset. <laughs> Yeah. Don't like the color? Rather. Green plot over a red and yellow check with orange pinstripes. Uh, you mean you think it's too loud? No, not at all. No, huh? No, not next to that purple shirt you're wearing. <laughs> and those pants, ain't they a little skimpy? <laughs> think they're too short? Short. If they were two inches shorter, you could put garters on them and wear them as a girdle. Yeah, I think she's right, Miss Archer. They are pretty short. Well, granted, Eddie, but how many men have legs like mine? <laughs> I admit it's a little skimpy, but it's beautifully cut. Believe me, I can be seen any place in it. Just don't bend over. You'll be seen every place. <laughs> Look, forget the pants. Look at the coat. Look at these shoulders. Clark Gable himself ain't got shoulders like these. Neither of you. <laughs> well, I ask, how many pairs of pants did you get? One or two? You got two, naturally. It's a double-breasted suit. <laughs> Besides, a well-dressed man wouldn't be caught dead without an extra pair of pants. Why is that? Well, of course, it's practical, that's why. Well, sure. With two pairs of pants, the ones underneath don't get dirty. <laughs> Of course. But how do you get into them? My dear, there are certain things that are not discussed in mixed company. <laughs> I should think a dame that chases anything in pants would know more about them, anyhow. It happens that I only chase one pair at a time. <laughs> just a minute, folks. Miss Archie, huh? look what just came in. Where? Hey, 
That must be Chiquita. Well, senorita, uh, bonus noches, hasta la vista. <laughs> Buenas noches. I'm Chiquita Juarez. You si. see? <laughs> and me, uh, he, I am Archie. <laughs> well, uh, senorita, uh, Pablum Espanol. <laughs> You, uh, no speak Spanish? Of course I speak Spanish. Well, then leave it speak Spanish. Uh, uh, come on, tell you. Archie, that's strange. Oh, uh, Dove Casa? That's Italian. Uh, how about, uh, Besame Mucho? <laughs> that means, uh, give me a key. Well, once I hit the right language, I don't waste no time, do I? <laughs> well, before we get away from the subject, how about it? Icky? Yeah. But I hardly know you. You hardly know me. Look, honey, I don't want to borrow money. All I want is a kiss. <laughs> Believe in love at first sight, don't you? Yes. Well? No. <laughs> Why not? Nothing personal. It's just that my only love is my singing. I have no time for anything else. In other words, I have built a fence around my heart. A fence, huh? Didn't you leave just a few knot holes? <laughs> uh, not that I ain't interested in your voice, Chiquita, you know just that I'm more interested in what it comes out of. <laughs> yes, sir. Beautiful. You mean my voice? Of course. <laughs> I can keep the conversation just as plain as the next guy. Archie, why did you hear my voice? I heard you on a jukebox, Chiquita, and it was... Well, it was like destiny. I meant to play Spike Jones, see, but... Instead, I pressed you. <laughs> it seemed like fate was guiding me finger. In fact, I was so in love, I played the record 12 times. And what makes you so sure it was love? 12 times at a nickel a crack? <laughs> Honey, it's gotta be love. <laughs> so what do you say? But Archie, we have just met. So what? We've got everything in common. You're beautiful. I'm attractive. <laughs> We're both Latins. You are a Latin? By marriage, of course. <laughs> me, me uncle uh, married a very wealthy hacienda. <laughs> Archie, a hacienda is a house. Me uncle likes them built that way. <laughs> In time. The reason I came down here is because you offered me a job as a singer. I got news for you. Good or bad? You're hired. There's bad news tonight. <laughs> For Archie, will Mr. Duffy like my singing? Of course Duffy will like it. What does he know about music? <laughs> that guy. You mentioned Stradivarius, Tom. He thinks you're talking about a violin. <laughs> The study value is the violin. Well, once in a while he makes a lucky guess. <laughs> Besides, Duffy ain't got nothing to say about the place. I'm the real figurehead around here. <laughs> then why is the place called Duffy's Tavern? Well, originally we intended to call it Archie's Tavern, but Mater, that's my father, you know. <laughs> He's kind of lousy with social tradition. He didn't want the family name dragged through the mud. <laughs> In fact, when I came to work here, it was enough of a shock to him that I sullied myself with honest toil. <laughs> you ain't sullied yourself much lately. <laughs> Archie, your father must be very rich. Hmm, rich to the point of avarice. <laughs> Chiquita, it has been said that Dad is so rich 
that he has no poor relatives. <laughs> mm, your father, he sounds very interesting. Yes, very. And one of the things that I always promised him is that someday before he dies, that I'd make him a muchacho. <laughs> You'd make him a what? A machacho, you know, a grandfather. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? Will you marry me? Well, I see. Before I give you my answer, I would like to be introduced to this rich father of yours. So would I. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, he's very busy with the moment with his real estate. He just took an option on Lapland, you know. <laughs> He don't want it to lapse. <laughs> I inherited his sense of humor, you know. I, as well as I expect to inherit his money. <clears throat> so how about it, Chiquita? Will you marry me? In my country, it's customary to meet the groom's father before we talk of marriage. His name is a tiger. <laughs> okay, Chiquita, I'll uh, see if I can get Dad to meet you. Uh, just go over and wait in that corner booth there. Very well. And I act like you are fathers. Why not? But I don't look like you. I'm more the Dean Atchison type. <laughs> yeah, forget what you look like. <laughs> Just remember, you're my father and you're filthy rich. Oh, Chiquita. Yes. Uh, Chiquita, I would like you to meet Dad. Oh, how do you do? I am delighted. Oh, uh, how do you do? I'm filthy. Archie, this is your father? Oh, don't forget, see. Don't make parents like they used to. Archie, this is very strange. What's strange? You look older than he does. Well, uh, having a father like this ages a kid very fast. Dad, uh, yes? tell Chiquita a few things about me. Well, uh, Archie always had a lot of stick to it, isn't it? He did? Oh, yes. I'll never forget his school days. He stayed five years in the third grade. <laughs> five years in the third grade? Yeah. He didn't want to embarrass me. I was in the fourth. <laughs> Uh, just at times, you know. It's an old family birthmark, you see. When I was born, they dropped him on his head. Well, I suppose rich men have a right to be eccentric. Of course, but money covers everything. Huh? Uh, well, by the way, Dad... Yes? Uh, do something rich. Uh, okay, son, I'll drink a glass of milk. My ulcer is killing me. Ulcer? <laughs> Dad, why so modest? You know you have at least three ulcers. Well, that's true, son, but I don't like to brag about the other two. It makes the poor people envious. <laughs> Sometimes you're just too kind. Uh, but uh, getting back to you, Chiquita... Uh, just a second. Let your father talk. I think he's very cute. Oh, good. <laughs> Tell me, are you married? No, I'm a bit of a widow. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, lost my wife ten years ago. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, must go looking for her sometime. <laughs> Yeah. You see, you are a widower? That's right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. But you can't then. Don't worry, Archie. You can count on me. Count on you? Yes. I'll always try to be a good mother to you. Oh, no. How 
Come on, Dad. Okay, my little tutu Roger. <laughs> Just a second, Finnegan. Finnegan? Uh, Finnegan was my maiden name. <laughs> well, uh, let's get out of here, Sakita. And son. Yes, Dad? This was the nicest Father's Day present you could have given me. <laughs> Eddie, the more I think about Father's Day, the more I realize there's something missing in me life. Something missing, huh? Yep. My knee is just like the British Empire. No sun ever sets on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. 31 years old. <laughs> All alone. A bachelor with nobody to carry on me proud name for humanity. On behalf of humanity, I thank you. <laughs> Eddie, please, have a little compassion. Okay, Dad. <laughs> what do you want for Father's Day? A nice necktie? Don't be a wise guy, Eddie. Not that I'm spraining a necktie, if you really mean it, but if you really want to be nice to me, you know what I'd like? A what? A nice case of black beer. That's the ideal gift, Eddie. You know, when you give glass, you don't have to worry about whether you've got the right size or whether it's the right color. With flat beer, you know you bought the best. In other words, a gift that's in good taste and a gift that tastes good, too. A gift that's in good taste again. Hey, that's a good slogan. We must send that to the Blatt's company. <laughs> but all kidding aside, to, to you folks listening, and I say, if you want to make this Sunday a real big day for a mighty swell guy... If you want to say that you're pretty fond of them and that you think they don't come any better, then say it with Blatt's beer. And that's something the family will do good to remember all year round, too, because life with Father can be a real happy one if you always keep a good supply of cool, refreshing Blatt's beer in the refrigerator. You'll find that if Dad knows best, then it's ten to one that Dad knows Blatt's. It's Milwaukee's finest, and don't forget, Milwaukee is the premium beer capital of the world. Yes, sir, the people in Milwaukee drink more blacks than any other beer. And that goes for all Wisconsin, too. So take a tip. Just try it once. Try it for Father's Day. And I guarantee you, you'll be back every day. Good night, everybody. I'm from Milwaukee, and I ought to know It's the same old story wherever you go This is the tune you will always hear Blast is Milwaukee's finest beer Be sure to listen next week at the same time to Duffy's Tavern, transcribed over most of these same stations. <laughs>